Welcome back to Broken Bobby's Transformation page. If you are new to the page, in 1990, I became involved in the drug gang world. From 92 to 06, I spent a lot of time incarcerated. I tell these stories to let you know it don't have to be you. If you're young and thinking about trying something or you're figuring out how to get out, these are my stories of this lifestyle and how it affected me and eventually I got out and transformed my life. So let's get into today's story. So as you can see by the thumbnail, are the Woods and Serenios united in jail and prison? Uh, I don't think there's a real easy answer for this question. So let's go into some different scenarios and what I've seen. And this is all from my experience uh, as being a member of the Woodpile. So in the county jail, it really depended on the county. Uh, you know, I had a, a lot of Southsider love in every, pretty much everywhere I went. Uh, and L.A. County, you know, there was a time where I went into a dorm and I was the only wood. And they kind of took me under the wing. And I, I've talked about that in previous videos, so I won't get too deep into that one. Uh, in San Bernardino County, they, uh, you know, there was a time where uh, there was a black in the dorm. And uh, he, I, I don't remember what he was doing, but... You know, there was only a handful of Southsiders in that dorm, you know, like maybe four or five. And they, uh, the blacks didn't want to uh, discipline this particular individual. And uh, the guy that had the keys for the Southsiders got at me for our assistance uh, in the situation. Now, the Southsiders got at the black rep, and the black rep pretty much said, do whatever you want to do with the guy, you know, but they're not going to do anything. And, you know, this is a little bit unusual, but, uh, you know, I think it was like the only time I ever seen anything like that happen. But, uh, so we ran distraction, basically, why they jumped on the guy, and... We were keeping an eye on things in case the blacks decided to jump with him, which, uh, you know, 99 out of 100 times, that's what's going to happen. If another race is jumping on uh, one of your folks, you know, everybody's going to get involved. But that wasn't the case with this situation. So uh, if you are new to the channel, subscribe, smash that like button, drop a comment. And let me know what you think and what your experiences have been. And also share this video. It really helps us to grow. We're approaching 600 subs. Thank you all. I appreciate it. I never thought we would come this far with this. But, uh, you know, we're continuing to grow. So I appreciate it. You know, it would be nothing without you guys. So thank you very much. Uh, now... So, yeah, like in Riverside County, we, we actually got off with the Southsiders. So there was no unification there whatsoever, you know. And I, I honestly believe sometimes the way that we commingle led to a lot more situations than had we not uh, kicked it the way we do. Uh, now, you know, uh, full disclosure, and I've said this before, you know, like, I was raised around Southsiders. I was raised in the hood. So I have a lot of love for the Southside homies and nothing but respect. You know, I, I know how their get down is and their get down is they're with the business, you know. So, uh, you know, let, now let's move forward. I'm in uh, CCF and uh, I got another story coming up here shortly that I'm going to be working on about a, a CCF riot. Riots tend to be, or rather, CCFs tend to be disregarded as, oh, you broke from a CCF, that's a joke type of thing, but be on the lookout for that one. That one's going to be a real banger. But I'm in McFarland CCF, and there's tension between the Southsiders and the Blacks. And this is, it, it's it's a building thing. It's not a yard thing. It's small scale. 
or in the building, maybe there might be 50 guys in the, in, you know, our particular section of the building. And the Southsider rep, uh, he was from Orange County. And honestly, I don't know why he was in a CCF because he was with the business, you know, and he was talking shit. He was trying to get every, you know, getting everybody fired up to kick some shit off in the building. And now keep in mind, there were probably 20 Southsiders in this building and there were like nine blacks, 10 blacks maybe. So the Southsiders easily had the majority. And as this is going on, one of the woods come up to me and he said, if they jump, I'm jumping with them. And I didn't have the keys, but I was in a position. I was the right hand of the guy that did. And I, I told him, you, you're going to stand down because, you know, to me, like, that's kind of cowardly. You know, if, you know, they've already got him out number two to one, they're going to mop these guys up more than likely. Okay. And ultimately that is what happened. I'm not saying the blacks were punks. They, they did their thing too, you know, but, uh, you know, there wasn't any need for us in that situation. And I let him know that if he did jump, you know, he was putting our car at risk and that, uh, there would be consequences for him later. And he did end up standing down. But, uh, you know, the thing is, a lot of times it's a thing of convenience. And, you know, I'm speaking from when I was in there, which, you know, last time I was in there was 2006. So it's, it's been a while. But things are a lot different in there now. But, you know, I'm speaking of when I was there. And honestly, the majority of the time it was a thing of convenience when we rode together. Uh you know, either the blacks were deep and, you know, it was a situation that the Southsiders just weren't willing to let go and they w would request some assistance or vice versa with us, you know. And typically it, it was against the blacks from what I've seen. So uh, now I'm in McFarland CCF and uh, that riot had happened and most of the Southsiders and blacks were cleared out of that dorm. So there was a yard issue between the woods and the Pisces. And this was the, you know, the ironic thing of, of it all is this was over a TV. Now, let me give you the layout of this place. There were four dorms that all, you know, they all fed out into one yard, maybe, 400 guys, give or take, on, on our particular yard. And each dorm has a TV, and you could go into any of the dorms. And the way it worked was the TVs rotated. So maybe on Monday, the white TV will be dorm one. Tuesday, the white TV will be dorm two, and so on. And so if dorm one was the white TV, dorm, dorm two was the Southsiders, dorm three was the Blacks, dorm four was the Pisces. And it would rotate, you know. And dorm four had a bigger TV. It was a bigger dorm. So the general rule in there is if sports is on, the TV is going to be on sports. No matter what the sport is, basketball, baseball, football, could be hockey, wrestling even, you know. And so somebody wanted, you know, uh, the Pisces had the big TV and the Woods wanted to watch wrestling or so something. I, I don't recall what it was, but this boiled over into a riot. And I, in this particular instance, the Southsiders that remained backed the Pisces in that riot. And we, ultimately, most of us ended up getting rolled out of there. And, you know, I ended up on the three yard at Delano from that one. But, uh, you know, other examples, when I was in reception, uh, I worked out with a couple of Southsiders. There's a guy from Fontana and I think another guy from El Monte. And shout out to 
to those neighborhoods. Uh, and, you know, that's, you know, I felt comfortable working out with those guys. Those guys were cool, you know, and they were, uh, the one guy was IE. So, like, there was a instant connection with that, especially him being Fontana and me being San Bernardino. So, uh, but, you know, a couple of people tried to press me on that situation. Hey, why are you working out with those guys? And, you know, basically I got with the rep and told him what the situation was. And that was level four Larry. <laughs> Larry was a straight killer. But uh, the the rep. And he basically told me, you know, that there ain't an issue with that. Like we commingle with them. So, if you know, that's what you want to do as long as you're uh, fulfilling your workout requirements with the wood pile which i was so uh yeah they they didn't like it and you know basically larry told told them the same thing that it wasn't an issue and if you know anything happened like it was going to be their ass so uh yeah i for the most part i would say at that time it, it was more of a convenience than us being united we you know, there were several riots with the Southsiders, and I think that was because of the way we commingled. And, you know, somebody gets upset over something, over a comment or, or something like that, because we're keeping such close company, you know, it would lead to things like that. So uh, that's my story for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Family, fitness, and freedom are what helped me to not have to deal with these sort of situations, and they can help you too. Uh, you know, if you are still using and you want to get clean, find a NA meeting or an AA meeting. Like, it's it, it don't matter. And uh, one thing I will say is if you're not ready, I understand that. When I wasn't ready, no, nobody could tell me anything either, so... Uh, when you are ready, there's a lot of resources out there that can help you. So, uh, yeah, that's the story for today. Next, The next video up is going to be the Delano CCF riot. That's going to be a real banger. So be on the lookout for that one as well. And don't look at the mountain. Just start climbing.